So, hey everyone, today we will have an exciting presentation webinar about the Black Friday and overall the holiday season in terms of the email marketing. Together with my guest today, Dmitry Kudrenko, founder and CEO of Stripo Email and the Sputnik, who will cover how to be more efficient with your email marketing campaigns during the holiday season. We will share our best practices in order how to don't make any mistakes and share some more statistics and uh, things that we already find out and things we already know in terms of increasing any change to hitting the inbox of your customers. So nice to have you, Dmitry. Hello, thank you for having me. Hello to everybody. I think we can start. So as I told, we will cover this uh, email marketing during the holy season. And uh, what I want to start with, basically, it is about emails, obviously. So speaking about the emails, during the holiday season for the, a lot of businesses out there, this is the crucial time when they can generate their revenue, when they can get more subscribers, get they have more engagement with their like consumers. So you can imagine how many emails sending like during the holiday season. And I'm putting here some numbers with uh, like main free events during the November. So basically this is Thanksgiving, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, uh, which is facing a lot of email sending by day and uh, like hit each and every record during the each following year. So basically last year during the Thanksgiving, uh, people send and receive almost kind of 95 million emails in one single day. During the Cyber Monday, people sending around 100 mil, 106 mil of emails in a single day. And our record during the Black Friday last year, uh, people sent and received 116 and a half million of emails during one single day. And you can imagine, how many businesses strive in order to get your vision in terms of your get your attention in your mailbox and get more results driving the a lot of those emails coming and coming over the holiday season because they want to engage with you because they want to sell you something because they want to share the discounts with you and this huge number and this is this is end up with some sort of problem, email overload, which is I want to share with you on the next slide. So because of the huge number of emails sending daily, not just over the holiday season, holiday season just have more bright problem than other days. So basically to give you more technical insight about what is happening across the world when, you, when someone sending emails, so basically there is two internet protocols that help you to send and receive emails. So basically SMTP stands for like uh, sending emails in a simple way, IMAP for receiving emails. And as you see uh, on the slide, each year basically we drastically increasing the number of email sending and receiving each day, basically daily, it's around uh, like 300 billion emails to, uh, will be by the end of uh, 25 year. And this is huge. And assuming that those emails going on a daily basis, sending, receiving, uh, there is a lot of spammers. There is a lot of people that don't know how to send email. There are a lot of people who are sending millions of emails that they just bought for somewhere. And as a result, those protocols that I'm talking about, the SMTPI map, they designed it, I guess, in the 70s by the group of people who found the internet. And during the back then, they never thought that there is going to be like uh, 500 billion females sending each day and sending and promoting, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, it's most, mostly was uh, for uh, created designed for government organization and education uh, universities to have a like more simpler communication between each other. And currently we end up where we are. So basically there is a lot of people utilizing the email marketing for 
everything, anything. This is your account IDs for a lot of tools. This is your business communication of work instrument that you are living with. This is your like personal email address where you're receiving uh, like any like uh, promotions or whatever you need for. So basically this is your business card, your email address, because this is uh, the thing that we cannot live without because everything, every kind of solution, every product, and everything required the email because this is help you to get the information and keep it somewhere. And uh, ho hopefully we have a Gmail, Microsoft, any other tools to, uh, help uh, help us with this and shedding more light on the problem. So, as I mentioned before, during the, this holiday season is the peak of the emails sent during the year, and this is like hundred million of email sendings in a single day. And that was a problem, which is email throttling, uh, or uh, your emails end up missing it all. And by meaning throttling, I mean that your emails delayed on a certain time uh, on a certain amount of time when you send it and i will share more insights uh how the email works after you click on the send button uh, or end up missing it all because there is a heavy overload of the systems that analyzing that uh, precedes your emails to your recipients and you can imagine this is the line of the emails that passing over the smtpi map during the holy season and as a result, we have it like sending emails, for example, during the Black Friday and receiving this email on the Saturday on the, the worst case scenario on the Cyber Monday uh, event, which is need to be sent another email. And you can imagine the frustration of your customers when they're receiving the Black Friday email on the Mondays and uh, etc. So basically, there is a huge problem with the SMTP uh with over overload of the email communication worldwide and during the holy season it's more crucial because each year we have drastic increase of the email sending over over people over businesses over any other like entities out there and uh, there is kind of huge problem imagine if you're relying on the black friday or thanksgiving or the cyber monday as your primary source of the revenue and your email campaign never end up in the inbox or in worst case scenario they end up for like on the like next day and monday or whatever day it is so basically there's the problem with the snp is that you need to understand how to work how to face it and uh, to share light on how how what happening with the emails when you hit the send button, when you have your Clavio or your strip or your Sputnik or any other like MailChimp solutions, when you're hitting the send button, basically what's what's starting to happen? So basically your domain, your mailbox starting to analyze as a sender, as a trusted sender, and it analyzes your domain by having the DNS infrastructure in place. DNS infrastructure is basically the records that help you to give the more uh, information about you as a sender. And basically, there's a few of them. There's the SPF, Sender Policy Fra Framework. There is DKM, your digital signature for your emails. There is the MARC. This is the Domain Messaging Authentication Protocol. And there is the BIMI that help you, that helps brand to stay proud of the inbox, having that there. Uh, logo instead of profile picture, but this is the thing that we can share later on. So basically, when you hit the send button, email will uh, be assigned with your DKM, uh, DKM signature, digital signature, which is giving you information about that you're allowed to send emails from this domain, from this tool. And as a result, uh, your email have a signal that it can be sent. And after send, there is the thing that I uh, talked before about the throttling and missing emails. There is the part of the email path where emails uh, will start to analyze where spam filters, blacklist, send reputation, this the other DNS record that you have in place. And you can imagine if there is like 100 mil of emails during the day, you can imagine how the uh, this works on the backend because 
the system struggles because it was designed like, like the CPMF thing designed like in the 70s, have some improvements, but still we're using it because there is no other alternative there. And as a result, we have this problem where the Gmail or Microsoft uh, Outlook that your emails like starting to routing, start to be delayed, starting to be throttled for a reason of a huge amount of emails sending out. And last year, from my experience uh, and uh, from the experience of my clients at Fall Julie, basically there is a huge problem uh, within the US uh, when you're sending emails, for example, to another state and people didn't receive emails. So basically, even though when I send emails to my friends, they didn't get it because of the, this overload thing. And there's the problem. And I think we will, uh, the like uh, people who designed the basic government who designed the SMP map has the both on this problem. And I know a few, few people who work into the CTP 2.0 in order to make this like a uh, solvable problem. So this is the heads up about how the emails like throttling, and we will talk about about the preparation for the the emails, uh, the email marketing campaigns during the holiday later on. But want to finish on the road of the emails. So basically, after it's sent, starting to throttle before it reach the recipient, and uh, when it reaches the recipient, it trigger the IMAP protocol, which has helped you uh, help your emails to be analyzed on the having all those things I mentioned before, your DNS records, it, it analyzed your um, reputation. If you're like not a spammer, if you're IP blacklisted, if you're domain blacklisted, if there is any problem with the content side of things, if there is spam words are you using, or is there is any like uh, attachment that you are sending, for example. And according to you took this verification, and according to your policies that you have in place, the email system deciding what to do with your emails. It can be bypassed and start uh, the uh, getting to the inbox of your prospects or your customers, or it can be rejected and send you as a report to the sender. And this only works if you are, have this DMARC protocol, domain messaging notification protocol in place. And basically, this is the thing that you are putting under the domain and having the rules, for example, like do not think if there is any problem with my emails quarantine my emails uh, if there's any problem with this, but it works on the like 50-50%, like 50% passes and 50% quarantine and reject any emails that didn't pass the verification and it will re return to the sender of your emails. So basically this is the how email, what email doing after you hit the press send button. And this is the pass that, that they paste before it will end up to the Inbox folder. So um, sharing the common mistakes during the holiday season. So how to be assured that I will uh, have the great deliverability, how to be assured that I will end up to the inbox, not promotion folder or spam folder or emails, my emails didn't be delayed for a reason. So this is the common mistake that people doing uh, years after years. So basically during the holiday season, people drastically increasing the volumes over the night of their emails. For example, you have like tomorrow Black Friday, you, your usual sender list kind of 10,000 10, subscribers that you send your email to. And basically you wanted to send 1 million emails because your friends give you the base or uh, you bought the base or your email marketing team share you new, uh, you batch of leads or you have a successful advertising campaign and you have a lot of leads coming and you starting to increase your volumes not like gradually like 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 etc you starting 10,000, 100, uh, 100,000, uh, 1 million, 10 million, billion whatever and obviously you will end up in spam you you will face a successful marketing campaign and you will face the a lot of problems with it there's the first stop, increasing frequency of sending. When you understand that you want to send a lot of emails, but you have no time, you're just starting to blast emails without any delay between emails, which is a problem. Playing safe and falling to stand out, failing to stand out. Basically, uh, what is all about? 
when you uh, Google, for example, best performing subject lines, best performing email content during the holiday season or top email templates for Black Friday to be on the top of the things, you, you know probably that there's a lot of people doing the same, right? And uh, you have the same mistake that other people do. You're sending the same email template, blasting these emails to like the same people as probably they do. And you have the same content, the same subject lines, and which is end up in bad, like you end up in a bad situation where your email marketing campaign didn't perform well. Not adjusting creative things of uh, side of things, I mean, which meaning uh, you strictly didn't work with your HTML, didn't work with your content, didn't work with uh, be more flexible with the content. You have like uh, an optimized HTML letter, which is heavy, which is uh, didn't work uh, in terms of the deliverability because it didn't even pass the standard verification that we're talking about. Yeah, and sending emails to inactive disengaged contacts who haven't been targeted for a long period of time or didn't respond to you like uh, in the free six months this is the basic list hygiene that you need to take care of basically uh basically where we where we're talking about the leads you need to understand if you have for example your database that you blasted last black friday cyber monday or the new year you need to probably understand that you need to qualify the base again you need to debounce the base you need to make this list hygiene check because a lot of mailboxes can be inactive and you will hit your send reputation because there is people who didn't respond to your emails and even though those email addresses didn't exist anymore. Yeah, uh, moving to the some uh, metrics during the holiday season. So uh, as we mentioned before, during the holiday season, there is a lot of emails, like the massive amount of emails strike on the daily. And this is the record numbers. And uh, again, there's the record the numbers of the opens uh, open of your emails replies to your emails and links because there is a lot of engagement with the people during the holidays because everyone having a great mood everyone's trying to get a discount everyone like shopping for the family uh, gifts etc so basically you have uh, always better engagement during the holy season so you you don't want to mess it up and get the results from it and uh, some number from the last year there is consumers that spent like 20 percent more uh their money compared to last year 2020 uh some more numbers for the emails for example abandoned card emails have 34 percent of open rate and nine percent of click through rate during the holiday season and i guess during the holiday season again there's people who strive to get the things done to get the great gifts for their families for example and they more engageable with your content with your emails so there's the great great strategy behind a lot of um, brands corporations there that they polishing their marketing campaigns during the this holiday seasons in order to get the as many as much result that they do that they can do and CTR click through rate increasing over the 64% uh, featuring just Black Friday or Cyber Monday headlines. So just keep this in mind. About the emails again, promotional emails. So basically, uh, from the like last year, from the holiday season, we're seeing the 60% increasement over the emails and earning like. 37% more orders uh, over the your email campaigns. So using, for example, a standard marketing campaign, which is everything like polished, you can expect that you will see increasement of your performance of your businesses out there, no matter what you sell for, whatever, 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 whatever you do. And uh, there is obviously increasement of the automated emails, the emails, uh, which is about the registration, setting the passwords, like uh, having a lot of new new people subscribers visitors coming to each and every like websites out there so there's a lot of people who starting to uh, like and during the last call starting to registrate accounts starting to buy presents etc so basically it is all about the engagement with your people and we seeing that there is a really high numbers you you can achieve with the right set 
email marketing campaign during the holiday season. On average, for the targeted group for ideal customer profile, your click-through rate is about like 2%, and one and a 30% uh, for the non-targeted group. So basically blasting your emails to them. And during the holy season, you're facing that five plus six up to 10%. I saw the 10% increasement for our clients during the holy season for click-through rate. So there is a lot of people who want to click to your email because they have a need during the holiday season. So keep this in mind when you like have a strategy behind your email marketing campaigns out there. So, and speaking about the last minute check before the those Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Thanksgiving, and the whole holiday, holidays email marketing campaigns. So you need to be sure that you understanding how your emails performs like today, how it will perform tomorrow. So you need to understand where they end up right now with the current content, with the current database, and see how many emails end up in the promotion folder, how many emails end up in the spam folder, how many emails end up in uh, inbox in order to understand what kind of result I can get over the holidays or what I can expect from the those in marketing campaign that I'm planning. Least thing. Uh, so basically, this is all about the least hygiene. So you need to work with your databases in order to get rid of unengagement and negative customers or uh, just uh, didn't work, uh, the emails didn't, didn't work at all. So you, you need to utilize some sort of bounds verification tool that will help you to get rid of the bad emails. For example, zero bounds tool that will help you to analyze your uh, database uh, during the uh, deliverability checks. So basically they helping to get rid of all of those bounces. Templates. What about templates? So you need to work with your subject lines. And again, didn't go, you don't want to Google the same subject line, the same content uh, about the that other people do as alongside with you. You want to come up with your own strategy. You can you can like really be more creative and create your email templates that will work for sure because it will be yours and only yours. And you can use all those data out there in order to have uh, in order to have idea how to do, do this in the right manner. But again, you need to work on your subject lines and your email content by your own. And uh, you, uh, you, you get, you, again, you want it to your emails works because this is all about the engagement and keep the things uh, up to polished when it takes to your domain reputation, send reputation, your mailbox health, your domain health, your overall email deliverability infrastructure. And the content, again, because there is a double mention of the content, it's more about what words are you using. So there is a lot of spam words out there that will harm your reputation by using, for example, click here, buy now, 100% discount, or whatever words like sound spammy. Uh, try to see how you can uh, like came up with the great email content without it or brainstorm on it and take care really about what are you sending. Do not send any attachments and take uh, like double timing in order to understanding what I'm sending, what I want to send, who I send to uh, have more targeted audience out there. So um, everything as I mentioned before, you can do it folgually. So uh, there's like few tools on the market, but uh, since we're uh, on the email deliverability side of things and we want to make email successful acquisition channel for you, you can like fix, check your inbox placement rate for the different domains mailboxes, see how your technical setup looks like over the folgually. You can see how your templates, how your spam words looks like. And you can run pre warm up campaigns for the your mailboxes for your domains before any like hot season like uh, be around the corner. So basically, you wanted to be prepared, and by being prepared, you want to get everything like set in place, like your domain infrastructure, your list hygiene, your leads, your email templates without any spam boards and with clean HTML codes. You want to warm up your domain mailboxes, wall email templates during the before 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 the holy season in order to get a high result. And obviously do not abuse your 
domains and mailboxes because when you're starting to abuse when you're starting to blasting a lot of like email hundreds of emails when you will use bad templates you will use uh things that you find over the internet you will definitely end up in spam in worst case scenarios so uh, be more careful be more strict be more try to increase quality of your email marketing from the beginning and the last thing from me and I will pass my mic to Dmitry and, we'll, uh, and he will share more about the stripper and the, his like his tips and tricks how to be more successful with your holiday marketing campaigns. So with a fall July, you can see this coupon for the 20% discount. I love fall July. You can sign up today and get all the fall products uh, with a discount 20%. So uh, basically this is the main things that you need to get ready in advance in order to be more successful with your email marketing campaigns during the holiday. So I'm glad to pass mic to Dmitry. So I hope everyone uh, will, like get to some sort of insights from my end. You can like ask questions. We will uh, spend some time in the Q&A session after the Dmitry presentation. So yeah, go ahead. So yeah, Dmitry, mic is yours. Sorry. Again, hello to everybody. My name is Dmitry. I'm CEO of Stripe. Stripe is a mail design platform. And also, I am working more than 10 years ago in marketing automation in the system uh, called Isputnik. And it's a uh, uh, localized version, mostly for Ukraine. And the uh, global version is yespo.io. Uh, so we have already survived more than 12 different Black Fridays. And we saw how everything has changed. And uh, Vlad just have shown us very promising numbers that say that people spend more and more money, that uh, companies send more and more emails. But why they spend more money and why email works and what should we do to win this battle uh, for inbox, which tactics or strategies? So how to stand out this? Uh, very, uh, very crowded inbox. Uh, so uh, how people thought about like Break Friday, that they just, we have an offer, we have to prepare an offer and send this offer to everybody in time when promotion starts. So it's a pretty narrow window of marketing. Uh, and what I saw about I don't know, five years ago is that usually it's mostly was a problem of processes to organize how everything works. So it's not only about emails. And emails is a tiny part, but when you send a lot of emails, maybe your site would down or maybe your sales or delivery department or everything. You just have to survive. And for the special days, they... Uh, hire more people, they outsource some things. So it's it's like always a challenge uh, that they are preparing during the year. So it was about five years ago when Black Friday became very popular, very popular. Everybody wants to spend money and trying to save money. But then it was a lot of big uh, things like uh, COVID uh, that... Uh, uh, like your all your offline stores where people you know the history of black friday why it's uh, why it's so important to sell this day next friday after thanksgiving day just because of they want to uh, rid of all the goods they have to sell to start the high season to prepare for christmas uh, but for online there is no problem that you have to a free space uh, on an offline shops. So uh, when COVID happened, so it was not allowed. It, you have to keep distance. You you, you cannot be this overcrowded shops. Uh, earlier, people just had a vacation, a special vacation for Black Friday day to have a special deals. It was a lot of traffic jam. It was disasters. It's why it's Black Friday. But now Black Friday has no this negative emotions. It's just a lot of good things, a lot of sales, a lot of promotional. 
So uh, it's not for marketers as well. It's not just one moment, I don't know, only weekends working with a Black Friday. And then Black Friday is, is not enough. They invented the Cyber Monday. And then it's really started uh, several months, high season to sell and sell and sell. So what changed? What changed from marketing perspective? First, uh, Black Friday, uh, people start to prepare I understand that it's a during the year about to feed the processes that you have to be uh, all this overload traffic, you have to process it. But uh, real preparation started in two or three months in advance when you prepare the offers, uh, when you agreed with the partners and everything. And about two months uh, in advance or one month, uh, it's like now we have, you have to act very uh, actively. For example, you have to start to gather the contacts. So contacts who is not your customers yet, you should be prepared. We will have a, like some special offers. If you would like to know about them, contact us. All the pop-ups, all the things, you know, uh, already if you would visit the shops, you would see the, a lot of Christmas things already. So it's... Uh, Believable because of I, I, at the moment I am in Lisbon in Portugal. I don't feel the winter. I don't feel the Christmas time. But all shops already have the signs that it's prepared for high season for Halloween, Black Friday, and blah blah blah. So you have to start to gather your contacts and promise that they leave in their contacts to you uh, to be ready for Black Friday. Then you have to gather data about those contacts. Uh, their preferences, where they live, where they want. Uh, you have to prepare contacts and you have prepared the data for future segmentation. Because of segmentation is a success key of any marketing activity. You have to contact, you have to know whom you contact and what to expect from them. So uh, everything starts in advance in one, two months, gathering data uh, for your existing database. Uh, and gathering the new contacts. Then uh, you have to prepare and warm up uh, your audience. Uh, you got. It's about in one week, you're starting to sell like an uh, announcement uh, for, uh, for deals and for special offers. In 48 hours, in two days, just remind that uh, you will do some activities. In one day, you just have to maybe uh, send some special offers for VIP or your best orders to some special preparation. So they can do pre-sales, they can do pre-book some things. And certainly when you go in live and during uh, the promotion, you should have and warm up that, okay, uh, something is changed uh, and something is out of stock and you do have to hurry up. And, do all the things, so all this activity. Early it was one day, it started almost in midnight Friday, but now uh, COVID changed everything and really Black Friday started a little bit earlier and uh, it can be prolonged. So uh, what I would recommend just to move the borders and uh, if earlier we had always a competition for different brands, uh, I don't know, one big e-commerce and another big e-commerce, they trying to like do a spying when they plan to send the message. We have to be in, I don't know, in 10 minutes earlier. In 10 minutes, sending for, I don't know, for audience for 10 million contacts. And they always had a requirement, send all these emails in two minutes something like that, like crazy things. If you have similar uh, special offers, they have to know in a moment to buy and you have to send in very short period of time. So you have to do the segmentation and firstly send to most active audience for VAPs and then uh, more, more colder audience. So the best buyers you have to receive your email earlier, even if it's, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes uh, of something like that. Then it's a lot of things you have to deal with your partners. Partners uh, that have the same, uh, working with the same audience, but 
uh, not competitors with you. It could be, I don't know, if you would speak uh, about the <clears throat> some beauty things, you always can find uh, some, some partners who sell uh, something uh, different, but with the same audience. You always can compete, I don't know, cinemas, uh, always can find as a partner uh, some stores uh, or restaurants and have a common deal, some collaborations, a lot of collaboration because of also what you can offer for uh, Black Friday. It's not necessarily like a big deals. Sometimes it could be like a free delivery or it could be a collaboration like uh, um, certificates uh, for other service. You, you, you buy uh, here, but have a certificates for I don't know for the gym whatever you want uh, co uh cashback services some gamifications that involve a lot of things together so it brings fun into all this audience stuff then uh, when black friday is done another event happens cyber uh, cyber Mon uh, monday and the cyber monday is extend all your promotion for for a week almost and then high season starts so really it, it just warming up activities uh, and then you begin to uh, sell and sell more and more again you see it's not so uh, obvious uh, and you always have to be prepared and now it's time it's time to start if you are not prepared you should do it now and now I want to deep uh, to dive deep into more technical tricks that it's uh, only few people know, but you can use it. First is uh, how to be different in your inbox. Uh, I would suggest to use annotation for all Gmail users. So what is annotation? I will have additional slides. Annotation is kind of uh, how to define the banners or a special offer in a preview when you're not opened email yet but you already see the offer and not only a subject line and preheader another thing that is very important for black friday is a real-time content because if you always have a change deals for example if you have uh something out of stock you don't i don't think you would like to show to users some uh uh, some things that is not uh, available at the moment. So it's better to change it. And especially for Black Friday, it's always a sense of urgency. And to add the sense, you uh, usually people use like a countdown timers or images of offers you can change. And there are two ways how to do this. First, it's like a dynamic images. You can update when a user opens the email, and maybe you can even return different images based on the region where they are at the moment, not based on the data you have about the subscriber, but based on the real time data. And one of the most popular examples is a countdown timer uh, that, uh, I don't know, if you have only four hours left, you cannot say uh, only four hours left because of when you're receiving on email, open email, could already expire as offer. So it's better to show actual time. And how to do this in email? First is a count timer, uh, down timer. It's a special kind of dynamic images. And dynamic emails. Let's go through all the things step by step. First, promotional, how it works. Uh, if you would go, uh, we already created a small tool. It's easy and free for use. Uh, so you wouldn't just go to the Striper uh, and promotional builder. Uh, you have a wizard where you can specify some variables and you see how Gmail would show uh, your message if your message has a good reputation, no, not your, your sender or your message has a good reputation. People react, it will be in the top deals and you will see the banner or something like uh, uh, offer and promotion promo code and everything like that and the time that left so gmail would show this it doesn't work for outlook but it's okay outlook would ignore it but uh, you will have the better open rate and click rate for gmail so first 
always use uh, the uh, promotion, how it works. You can go to the uh, Stripe promotion tab builder, and then you will have a button like generate my code. It generates code. You put this code into your email, and that's all. It would work. The next is a countdown timer. Again, in a Stripe, we have a special component. Uh, you can just put, uh, it's like drag and, oh, like a typical image or text, or doesn't matter. You just drag and drop component into your email and then configure this year. It will be 25th of November. So when Black Friday starts, you can define the time and it shows how many hours, minutes, seconds left until the I don't know, Black Friday or some special offer. Another option because of uh, uh, it's only for time, but what if you have a different price? Another option is a service is like Nifty Images. Nifty Images uh, can have a dynamic email that uh, returns different image in a different time. Very similar to uh, the countdown timer, but you can define much more, uh, much more conditions to show. And the last one from technical stuff is uh, amping email. It works again only in Yahoo. It works only in Gmail, but uh, you also can have ability to send like a JavaScript in email. It's like special kind of emails. Uh, I will uh, also explain in two words how to do this. So you can do like a gamification, some special offers, do which, which could be very personal or randomized. So you can add some fun gamification to your email. So it's first uh, how you can apply app and just some, some interactivity. Uh, and especially if you have some uh, goods uh, with a special price, you can return them and put them to email, not in the moment when you send an email, but in the moment when user interacts with, uh, with email, when he opens email. So he can see the very, very actual data. It's again uh, what works with the AMP. How it works, AMP. AMP uh, has a three uh, types of interactivity in email. First is the layouts. Layouts is kind of carousels when you can use uh, the arrows and swipe uh, images. You can put more offers into one email. So it's easy. It's not a real time email, but it's just more interactivity in email. The next thing you can do is a real time content. It means that. Uh, your email gets the data from server in real time when uh, it's what uh, I explained to you earlier. Or other side is when you submit the data from email into your servers and you can react. So you even can make a purchase from email without leaving email or define some special options. So all the things you can do with AMP. So really, it could be a lot of questions about the AMP, uh, but I can answer in our Q&A session. Uh, and here, I would like to focus not on technical uh, things, but on Black Friday things. So what I would recommend to do first, uh, don't treat in, one, uh, in just a uh, promotion for Black Friday. Always create a series. Uh, next. Uh, pay close attention to a subject line and not only to subject line, but also to, uh, as I told, like annotation section, uh, when you can uh, care about the preheader or with the banners, but also some suggestion about uh, the <laughs> subject line. You can Google, there are a lot of information how to create the catchy uh, subject line, <laughs> but there are very, very simple recipe here. So first, or successfully, it, it, we analyzed a lot of subjects that were sent for Black Friday. And almost all of them have Black Friday or Cyber Monday awards. So just use them. Also, a lot of them use uh, like a, a sign of percent, 25% promotion or discount or something. Use uh, words like a free or safe or discount or off. It's like a triggers, and always add the urgency into subject like uh, only one day or just uh, hurry up or something like this. And certainly use energies 
images, uh, but don't use like something very, 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 very popular because of you have to stand out. You have to be different from other emails. And when you start earlier, at least with your preparation emails, you the more chances you would be noticed because of when you have hundreds of email, it's really, really, really hard to differentiate. So it's another thing I would recommend to do. Include free shipping and other perks. So don't be concentrated on the big deals and uh, like uh, minimal price. You should have a money from this. It's not only the reason you have to uh, free your um, uh, your stocks. <laughs> you have to have money from this. So there are two options. First, if you do the very big discount, at least it would be good to have it for new customers. So it's price like a customer acquisition cost. But if you have no margin for your loyal customers, so it doesn't look very good for your business, then uh, work about the design a lot. If you would go to a Striper, you would find thousands of different templates and a lot of Black Friday templates. You can just use them for free, it's easy. Also, don't forget to announce sales before the start of a holiday. It's what I mentioned several times. And the count timer for urgency, uh, we agree, uh, we already discussed this. And uh, again, offer something more than discounts. Make a surprise, add gamification, be unique, uh, do some additional collaborations. Find what you can do differently from discounts, especially when the things you sell is uh, regulated and I don't know, people uh, people would analyze who do the best offers. Okay, we have what you have to do and you have to avoid mistakes. Very popular with mistakes is just, again, use a low prices as a magnet ballot because of it. it's it's kind of what people would expect for Black Friday, but it never been in strategy. Doing everything at the last at the last more minute, not just moment, a minute, because of it's what happens so many times when some market, oh, it's a Black Friday, we have to do something. Do we have an offer? We have a database. They got the database for all the time, and they use this day for reactivation audience because of it's some super deals, and reactivating is a good idea in this day, but don't do it in the moment of a Black Friday, because of you can, uh, it, it, it's like Vlad said, it, it can hit your reputation. And even VAP would receive your email in a spam folder. And then during the uh, high season, you will work uh, to recover your reputation. Never do this, it does not, it, it's not worth it. So again, uh, do it uh, very accurately uh, and use only high quality contacts that have to be warm up in advance using the series and using the right segmentation. Uh, so uh, I just mentioned almost all the things that you don't need to do. Uh, and uh, so you have to reach the right segment. You never have to do some boring emails. Like, <laughs> you know, these days people expect fun. These days people expect something something different. These days uh, you can even be uh, different from whom you are usually you are so just just do experiments play with your audience give them a surprise and i think uh, that's just that's it uh, start to plan start to uh, gather your data uh, start to gather new contacts find good partners and be ready uh, for black friday this year in advance so wish you do all in time. That's all I wanted to share for today. Uh, and I see that we have a question. Yeah, Maybe. we have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, thank you, Dimitri, for the presentation. So the question is about, uh, do we suggest to doing spam testing for marketing emails? So you can go with this one. 
I think it's a question more to you, uh, but uh, certainly uh, you can do. But in nowadays, nowadays, uh, the spam testing is not so important as a good reputation you built over years. Because of uh, spam testing, you always would have a, like a buzzwords like a deals, so free, save, discount, percentage, well, buy now. It's all spammy words. Uh, and the content of email doesn't mean much now. The audience, the type of your communication, the reputation, all this uh, configuration like the KM, SPF, DMR, BME, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sounds very technical, but required. And it's not something that's required for Black Friday. You have to do it in advance. And especially if you would use AMP, you cannot do it if you don't have uh, DMARC policy or something like that. It's my answer. Good, good like, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the same page with you here. So I think you need to like also understand where you're standing at in terms of your deliverability and uh, understand how you can like be more effective with this. So basically, this is the thing that we mentioned with you during the webinar that the people need to understand how to work with. And if uh, for uh, someone, if the information that some information maybe probably can be new for the tech, from the technical perspective that you, that you need to take care of the email deliverability, that you have all the main infrastructure things. So you, first thing that after the webinar, you need to go and Google to think about the SPF the right game if you didn't know or didn't realize that you need to do so. And it will be the good start in terms of having the everything set in, in place. Also, I have a question for you, Dmitry. Regarding the IMP emails, uh, did you already test it and get some results from it, or your clients using the IMP uh, like type of the email that they send? Did you already getting some results from it? Can you share yeah, some yeah. sort of the data? Doing, yeah, thank you for a question. We doing it. It's, it's maybe a kind of additional talk. We have uh, thousands of cases, and uh, especially we use uh, AMP in any email we, we send. Any email. Uh, some mm -hmm. of the, uh, some of time it sends in five times better results than a regular email, especially because of uh, you can interact immediately. In a question, for example, answer for a question, uh, click to this button to answer for a question or, or answer a question directly in email. So when you do it in a less step, so it's like a typical funnel. Every step mm -hmm. you're losing uh, the attention, you're losing your audience. So you just do it uh, quicker and. Uh, certainly, all fun, all fun you can do only with AMP. So I, I, I think like a gamification stuff with a uh, Wheel of Fortune or some Scratchers cards or some uh, for Halloween uh, we had uh, we had uh, like a game when you have to uh, protect your inbox from a spam and you have a limited uh, time for this. So it was a lot of interactivity and we have i don't know hundreds of different examples some of them published on our site uh, if you have some questions or concrete some exact question uh, i'm ready to share our experience there as well yeah i'm just out of the curiosity because i can be the brand new thing for the email marketing and uh, some for clients utilizing it and they think they're really having some improvement but before like i guess three billion of emails will be imp side of emails so <laughs> it's a matter of time i guess yeah yeah. Uh, first you don't have a uh, so it's a first marker uh, in my inbox only a few emails are dynamic only a few amp emails it means that it's not very popular why it's not very popular because of it's required a lot of things first you have to configure it uh, right you have to be whitelisted as a sender with a good reputation your sender have to support the ability to send uh, additional like mime type into email so it's it's not just in your html you're sending plain text you're sending html and also you send in the email amp html it's different kind of coding so you should understand how to do this, uh, a, a lot of things. And also you should analyze the results. And marketers have to understand how to do this. So it's why uh, we uh, in Striper try to solve all those questions. 
we added a bit, the only editor in the world that allows to edit uh, emails without additional technical skills have dynamic email. I just don't want to be uh, make our like a webinar as a promotional of the Stripe of things, but we are the best in the world. Ha ha ha. Know that, know that we really. <laughs> uh, sure. So um, I guess we can wrap up. So we don't want to waste uh, uh, people's time. So we already covered the things. So uh, no question for fall so far. We answered everything. So I guess that's a kind of wrap. So thank you, Dmitry. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Today, talking thank to you. you. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Have everyone great holiday email season and wish you all luck with your email marketing campaigns. Have a great one. Yeah.